With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. In this question, we have to look at the given options and select the pair in which both are not poikilotherms. So if we talk about the vertebrates, vertebrates are like a subphylum that comes under chordata in our animal kingdom and it is a very huge very diversified group so whether it is fishes amphibians are reptiles birds or the mammals all of these groups we are going to place under vertebrates but out of these only the birds and mammals are capable of thermoregulation which means that even if the ambient temperature, even if the temperature in their surroundings keeps changing, their body temperature will remain constant. So we can say they have the ability to maintain homeostasis. However, the rest of the vertebrates do not have this ability. And in the fishes, amphibians and reptiles, we are going to see that their body temperature changes according to the ambient temperature. So we call them the cold-blooded or poikilothermic animals, whereas on the other hand, the birds and mammals are called warm-blooded or homeothermic. So in this question, we have to select the organism where they are not poikilotherm. So in the option where we will find a warm-blooded animal, that will be our correct answer. So first they are saying torpedo trigon. Now torpedo is also a type of fish. It will come under chondrichthys, the class of cartilaginous fishes. It's also known as the electric ray or the sting ray and trigon is called the poison ray. So since both of these are fishes, they are both cold blooded. Next they are saying trigon again. But then they have given Panthera. So Panthera is the genus in which we are going to place the animals like lion and tiger. So this will be a mammal and it will be warm blooded. B will be our correct answer because again in option C, Carcharodon is a scientific name that we use for the great white shark. Again a cartilaginous fish and similarly Pristis also. Then again they have given Scoliodon and Trigon. So Trigon we have already discussed and Scoliodon is a name given to the shark which is also commonly called the dogfish. So out of these all are the cartilaginous fish which are obviously going to be cold blooded and the only ex exception is option B where they have mentioned Panthera which is the genus of mammals so genus of cats where we place animals such as the lion and the tiger so they will be warm blooded or homeothermic for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today